Have you ever wondered how Italy, a nation known for its rich history and culture, is keeping up with modern military advancements? Today we're taking a closer look at Italy's recent strategic moves in the realm of defense. The Italian parliament has just greenlit the acquisition of two new Frem frigates and a staggering 132 combat version Leopard tanks, making significant strides in their military capabilities. Well, you're in for a fascinating journey as we delve into Italy's recent military purchases. So, how does Italy go about acquiring new military equipment? Well, it all begins with the nod from the Italian parliament. This approval is more than just a formality. It's a critical step that signifies the country's readiness to enhance its military capabilities. The recent decision to increase military spending didn't come out of the blue. It was largely influenced by the ongoing Ukraine conflict, a stark reminder of the importance of military preparedness in today's unpredictable world. In the face of such challenges, the Italian parliament has made a bold move. It has given the go-ahead for the acquisition of two new Frem frigates and 132 combat version Leopard tanks, but the shopping list doesn't stop there. There are plans for additional tank versions too. Each piece of equipment represents a significant investment in Italy's defense infrastructure, yet it's not just about buying off-the-shelf products. The deal involves local firms in developing an Italianized version of the German tank, bolstering the country's manufacturing sector. With the parliament's green light, it's time for Italy to shop for some state-of-the-art military tech. Now, let's get into the exciting part, the new military equipment. The Italian parliament has given the green light for the acquisition of two new Frem Evo frigates. These aren't your run-of-the-mill frigates but advanced warships equipped with top-notch combat systems, radar and electronic warfare suites. Each detail of these frigates is meticulously crafted to ensure the highest standards of defense and warfare. The Frem Evo frigates are a significant leap forward in naval technology. They feature upgraded combat systems designed to handle a diverse range of threats and an enhanced radar system for improved detection and tracking. The electronic warfare suites, a key component of modern defense, have also been revamped to counter emerging electronic threats. On the land front, Italy is bringing in the heavyweight Leopard 2A8 tanks. These combat machines are set to replace the aging Ari-8 tanks, ensuring that Italy's ground forces are equipped with the latest and greatest in armored technology. The Leopard 2A8 tanks are not only robust and versatile, but they also fulfill Italy's NATO commitments. These tanks are a testament to Italy's commitment to foster local industry. The program will involve local firms in developing an Italianized version of the German tank, complete with domestically manufactured components. This approach ensures that the tanks are tailor-made to suit Italy's specific defense needs, while also boosting the domestic economy. In a nutshell, these new additions to Italy's military arsenal, from the Frem Evo frigates to the Leopard 2A8 tanks, are a significant upgrade. They're not just about firepower but also about strategic defense, technological advancement, and commitment to local industry. These aren't just your average military equipment, they represent a significant upgrade for Italy's defense capabilities. But what does this mean for Italy and its military? These acquisitions mark a significant milestone in the transformation of Italy's defense arsenal. With the Frem Evo frigates and Leopard 2A8 tanks, Italy is not just upgrading its military hardware, but also making a statement about its commitment to its NATO allies and its own defense. The involvement of local firms in developing an Italianized version of the German Leopard tank is a testament to Italy's dedication to self-reliance and innovation. By incorporating domestically manufactured components into these tanks, Italy is fostering growth in its own industries, while also ensuring that its military equipment is tailored to its specific needs and standards. The estimated total cost of the program, including logistics and training, is nearly 8.3 billion euros. This investment reflects the seriousness with which Italy is approaching its defense capabilities. Despite the hefty price tag, this initiative is seen as a necessary step towards ensuring Italy's military readiness amidst global conflicts. With these new additions, Italy is set to make a bold statement on the global military stage. That's quite a lot to take in, isn't it? So, let's do a quick recap. Italy's parliament has greenlit the acquisition of two new Frem frigates and 132 combat version Leopard tanks. These purchases are part of a larger move to increase military spending, a decision influenced by the ongoing Ukraine conflict. These Frem Evo frigates are not your average ships. They're set to feature upgraded combat systems, improved radar, and state-of-the-art electronic warfare suites. 
On the other hand, Italy is also purchasing Leopard 2A8 tanks, which will replace the aging Ariete tanks, thereby fulfilling NATO commitments. But it doesn't stop there. This program will involve local firms in developing an Italianized version of the German tank, with domestically manufactured components. The estimated total cost of this program, which includes logistics and training, is nearly 8.3 billion euros. Now we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment below, give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content like this.